Ever wanted to engrave into metal? Check out this GI60 MOPA fiber laser from Montport. All right, so first off, I am a fiber laser beginner. I've only had this laser here for about a month now, but I'm learning a lot. Now I've teamed up with Montport Laser, and this is the first video in a series of videos that I'm gonna be producing featuring their MOPA fiber laser, the GI60 to be specific. The goal of this series is to show how a novice can learn these machines quickly to start making cool stuff to give away to friends and family, for yourself, or to sell. In this video, we're going to be going over some basic setup of the machine, and we're going to be running some material tests on various materials to get a feel for what this laser can do. So in full disclosure, Monport has sent me this laser in exchange for making some content about it. I know everyone says this, but I am not obligated in any way to say anything positive about this laser. All opinions in this video are completely 100% mine, and I have free reign to say whatever I want. That is the only way I agree to do these types of videos. Trust me, many other laser companies have approached me, but when I give them this stipulation, they don't all agree. Montport is not like that, and it is much appreciated. Thank you, Montport. Now, let's get this thing set up and start engraving. All right, so unboxing and setup of this laser could not be easier. I mean, basically, all this is is bolting on this laser head to the main body here of the laser, which is four screws, and plugging in the machine. It could not be simpler. Now, when setting up the software, I am using Lightburn for this machine. You can also use EasyCAD 2 if you would like. However, I choose to use Lightburn, so I needed to make sure I went ahead and got a Galvo license for my Lightburn software. And I made sure to install the configure file that came on the thumb drive with the machine. Setup was a breeze. I'm not going to go much more into it than that. I will link to a couple other good videos that I have found, which go over a total unboxing. But I don't want to be redundant and show the full unboxing when others have already done it. One thing I will go over is how to focus this laser. So on the side of the laser head here, it shows a focus measuring point. My particular unit says 403 millimeters. I wasn't sure where they were measuring that from. The unit comes with a nice uh, metal ruler here where you can measure the focus. But I went ahead and ran a test here just to make sure I knew exactly where this measurement was coming from. And let me show you how I went ahead and did that. All I did was take a small aluminum business card here. I created about a 30 millimeter square in Lightburn and just used some general settings to fill that square. And what I did is raised and lowered the head of the machine with the control panel to find out where it was engraving the best. When the machine was in focus, you can tell because of the power output and the sound. It's almost like when your settings are just right with the welder where you're gonna get that nice sizzling bacon sound. That's what I would describe the way this laser sounds when it's in perfect focus. So what I found was my machine was accurate at the focus point of 403 millimeters. And it appears to me that they measured from this work bed to this line here on the laser head, which came out right at 403 millimeters. But you really need to test this on each laser. It's not gonna be the same for each one of them. And by the way, stock, this comes with a 200 millimeter lens. So it gives you about a 7.9 inch square work area. All right, so let's go over some basic safety for this type of laser. As you can see, it's an open laser, so everything is just right out in the open. There's no enclosure, so you really have to be careful with this type of machine. So first off, I have it set up attached to my central fume extraction system, and this is to make sure all the fumes and smoke from whatever I'm engraving will go into here and outside safely. Second, since this is an open unit, you wanna make sure you have a nice pair of safety glasses. So the machine does come with a nice pair. I've purchased another set here as well, just to have on hand. And make sure that if you have this same type of laser, you get the correct wavelength. This is a 1064 nanometer wavelength laser. And the next thing I do when working in my garage, whenever I'm running this laser or about to run this laser, I make sure to put a sign on the entry door into my garage. So that way my family knows not to come in when this machine's running. All right, so let's see what this thing can do. The biggest reason I'm excited about using this type of laser is because of the speed and the simplicity. So this being a Galvo style laser, in contrast to being a gantry style laser like I'm used to, it can engrave incredibly fast. The reason for that is because there is just small mirrors here in this laser head area that just go back and forth that move the laser beam from the laser source to the project incredibly fast. And another great part about that is there's 
almost no maintenance to the machine. There's no mirrors to align, nothing. Basically, you just gotta make sure your focus is set correctly and you're ready to go. This Galvo laser will also last about 100,000 hours estimated, which is a crazy amount of time. So I don't think I'm burning this thing out anytime soon. Okay, so just to start today, I got a few different materials to choose from. First, we're gonna do a little stainless steel bottle opener. A few different styles of pet tags and dog tags that we're gonna engrave here. Some leatherette. And of course, the classic aluminum business card. Now again, as I said, I am brand new to fiber lasers and the settings can be one of the most intimidating parts of learning how to use this machine. Because not only are you dealing with speed and power, but you're also dealing with frequency and pulse duration. Now, there's a lot of people out there that have explained these settings that are a lot more smart than I am. So I'm gonna leave it to them to explain it. But the best resource that I found to learn a little bit about these settings is a YouTube channel called Laser Everything. And their website, lasereverything.net, has an awesome feature where it has some starter settings for all sorts of different wattage fiber lasers. And that's how I got started. I went ahead and downloaded their 60 watt version of starter settings and it's got me in the game. Now, of course, these are just starter settings. I'm gonna have to fine tune them from here, but it's nice to have a resource like that where you can get started. So I highly recommend if you're interested in fiber lasers or you do own one, check out all their videos. They have hundreds of videos about these that dive deep into fiber lasers. All right, so the first project we're gonna tackle is the Tried and True Aluminum Business Card. Now, this is probably the best material that you can start with because they are cheap. I mean, you can get 100 of them for $14, $15, something like that on Amazon, and it really gives you a chance to play with the machine. And when you're brand new, you're gonna burn through some material, just kind of playing with things, trying photos, trying different vector engravings. I mean, you're gonna burn through some material. So this is a nice cheap source. So let's go ahead and throw one of these on there right now and see what we can do. Remember, if you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on anything. All right, so there we have it, our first photo engrave on the Monport GI-60. Came up pretty nice, still a lot of work to do. This is the very beginning steps in learning how to use this machine. As you can see, I mean, I've gone through multiple versions of this. I mean, just getting a feel for it, that's what it takes. I mean, I've got settings to get started, but even though you have settings to get started, you have to refine them and make them your own. You have to experiment to find out what works best. And I'm still new to fiber lasers and I'm really even new to raster engraving. I don't do a lot of raster photo engraving, so it's something that I'm trying to learn more about. So this is a good starting point, but we're gonna keep learning. Okay, let's try out another material. All right, so the next project we're gonna test is just a steel bottle opener, a steel dog tag, and a couple steel pet tags. These should engrave in no time on this laser. You know, one of the things I like most about using this fiber laser is its ability to frame and how easy it is to center and align projects because it uses its red laser to shoot the project directly onto it in real time. So it makes it really easy to line up.
So yeah, these small metal items were a lot of fun and they engraved lightning fast. I mean, this is seconds. So here's my bottle opener that I did. And the detail on these is just fantastic. And it's not only just taking off the coating of the metal, but it's actually engraving into it. You can feel the depth of this engraving that I did there. So it looks really cool. And here's an up close shot of one of the pet tags I did here. There we go. So again, really fast, really simple, but just one of those things that is fully customizable and inexpensive, quick for you to do. I mean, this is a perfect little business idea. I'm really excited for the possibilities that this laser is gonna bring to my shop. All right, let's move on to the last material, leatherette. Wow, this Monport GI60 MOPA fiber laser is awesome. It has been so much fun to use. Even though I've only had it for about a month, I've been learning a lot and I look forward to learning a lot more about this machine. Now remember, we're just scratching the surface in this video. This is just an overview, first impressions of the machine. If you're interested in hard specs on the machine or a full unboxing, I'm gonna link a couple good videos down below and I'm also gonna link you to Monport's website where you can check out all the hard specs. Make sure you stick around in the series because in the next video, I'm going to be drilling down and going over one specific product line that I'm going to start designing. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started and to use this laser. But aside from that, what questions do you have about fiber lasers? What projects would you like to see? Make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.